dies. So it turns out I'm cheating today because uh, I didn't get any on the way footage because we got dropped off. Surprise! So uh, today we're here to see well, what, what is this? The first purge. The purge that started it all. Isn't this like the fourth movie though? How yeah, it's technically Purge 4, the prequel edition. Can't these dudes count? Just kidding. Uh, we have a special guest today that's currently getting his ticket, so we'll see you in a little bit. And uh, I guess we're kind of going to talk about our expectations for the film if we have any. I don't know if we have any, because it was the purge. But we'll find out in a second, see you guys soon. Alright. So what do I expect from this movie? You know, the purge movies are not cinematic masterpieces. If you've seen them before, you don't watch them for that. You watch them because they're kind of funny and the ideas are interesting. So that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, we get to see how it all started. And the idea behind the purge, you know, if you guys like looking more than you are. We'll get back to you with a review and it's going to be amazing because there's going to be three people on this funny ass camera and we're going to figure it out. So, because... Some of us are bigger than others. Yeah, some of us are bigger than others. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys soon, alright? Alright. So you remember how I told you guys we have a special guest today? That's right. <laughs> this is Mr. Black Tastic from Black Tastic News. <laughs> Link in the description. Y'all just got my tickets. I'm about to see, I'm about to be purged for the first time. Check. I'm getting my cherry pop. Yeah, I've just... seen no movies mm -hmm. up until this point. Damn, so it's your first time. Yeah, after our conversation last night, it got me interested. And plus, I heard it's taking place in inner cities. You know, taking out the, the brothers and the brown, so. <laughs> and it's kind of like anti-Trump, so I want to check that out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad you found that. Yeah, that, that's good motivation, good motivation. Absolutely, man. So what about Joey? What, what do you think about this movie? Uh, I'm excited to see what type of message it's going to try to send. Cause... You don't sound excited. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, a thanks bit. a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a pretty fun movie. <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, if the other movies are any indication, this one, this one, I shouldn't feel disappointed in. <laughs> cool. Well, part time, Joey's a shoe shine guy, so here you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. I get tips for that. <laughs> we pay for our popcorn. <laughs> pay for the popcorn. Ooh, thank you, Joey. You get no, the I'm drinks. Gonna... I'll pay for if you get the drinks. <laughs> I'll get some. We'll see about that. <laughs> What's up, guys? We saw the purge. Well, the first purge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this, this is a black guy. Yeah. His name is CJ. Uh, a fair warning. After this review, right at 8 o'clock tonight, I'm going to do some purging in Elk Grove. So, yeah, beware. if you're Elf Caucasian, Road. watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> coming to get you. It makes sense coming out of this movie. Yeah. And there's a lot of Caucasian Yeah. 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 I mean, our first reaction to this movie. I was telling these guys earlier, it reminded me of a John Carpenter's 1980s Escape from New York type joint. It was fun, I enjoyed it. The budget was $13 million. It shows, but you know what, I didn't care. The CG blood really didn't bother me that much. The more the merrier, you know? And it had characters that I can personally relate to in this movie. And that's what made it more enjoyable. You know, it was really, really cool. The weird thing about this movie, the other movies kind of hint that there's like a racially motivated reason for uh, beginning the purge, but this one spells it out for you. You don't have to guess. Yeah. It just kind of throws it in your face and says, "Here." Right in your face. How, how do you uh, deal with it, man? So how do we deal with it? Well, Joy, I don't know, man. Uh, should we get some, get some guns, some knives, mm -hmm. and start dealing with it that way, or either everybody watch this movie and really look at the hidden message? And figure yeah. out what kind of person you don't want to be. Our political climate is really, really bad these days. Yeah, and that's yeah. the real message of the movie. Yep. Like, you, little spoiler alert, in this movie you find out that uh, the government actually hires out mercenaries to do, like, actual purging. To pretend citizens. to be purgers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they dress up in, like, police attire and all this, pretending like, you know, they're patrolling the streets or something, and then they storm buildings and just off a bunch of people like nothing yeah. um <laughs> very very nazi like it's crazy it's a very scary thought actually in today's climate and you know in the in the later movies they hire like organizations hire mercenaries 
to uh, do guard duty and go kill like their rivals and stuff because they have a 24-hour free purge. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say too, in the second um, set of this movie was horrifying. Yeah. It was like mm -hmm. a horror movie. Yeah, <laughs> you run around the dark with glowing eyes. Yeah. That shit got me. Crazy. <laughs> the movie took you on three different rides, man. The first set was like setting up the story. The second part was a horror film. Last part was Rambo Part Nine. <laughs> it was straight up in the, the ghetto. Yeah, exactly. I actually liked how they, they jumped genres like that. Dude, that <laughs> guy was kicking ass, though. Yeah, big time. Man, uh, this guy's a new star. He's like Wesley Snipes slash. 50 cent. <laughs> yeah, man, this dude is. I've never seen him in any movie before, but he is badass. Except he's probably smart enough not to dodge taxes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Snipe. And I. <laughs> right. This dude, stay out of Florida, motherfucker. But, but also, um, this movie was produced by Michael Bay, and also, it was done by Blumhouse. So, yeah. It was pretty incredible, man. I really enjoyed myself. I did too, man. Yeah, I would say if you like the other Purge movies, go see it. If you don't like them, go watch it anyway, because uh, uh, it'll make you think. It's a silly yeah. movie, but it'll make you think, yeah. man. And the ratio of females to males in this movie that came to see it was 10 to 1. It was more females in the theater watching this movie yeah. than yeah. men. So that was pretty interesting. Almost all of them left their popcorn and drinks on the floor. Yeah. A lot of dirty people in Sacramento. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. I'm going to purge your ass. <laughs> we're saving this bucket because we're getting some free popcorn a second time around. Remember that, guys. Since this was your first purge movie, would you watch any of the other ones? I'm going to go home and check out some Netflix and watch the other ones in consecutive order. But I already know this is my favorite one because... <laughs> the minorities win. This is my favorite one too, man. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, same here. Coming from the Brown, the Oliver, and the brother, we did a damn thing. And this is Friends Talking Movies. Yeah. You got it. Till next time, guys. Bye. Oh, shit. Not nah, damn. I'm walking like Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you stop it. Uh -oh.